the psalmist, the writers of the psalm, clearly speaks to us, the church, to come into God's presence with dancing, with singing, with music. Welcome to Holy Ghost Easter Party. Thank you very much. Welcome to Easter. Welcome to Easter. <laughs> we are modern worshippers. Churches for party goers, Jesus party goers, Holy Ghost party goers. I'm happy because the Savior has resurrected. with me. Whoa! Let's go. And sisters the resurrection of Jesus called the world to order where there was no order order return in your life wherever there is no order wherever things are out of hand wherever you will put aside so that nobody can see you nor hear you all that return you have returned today is the day that you return back from where they condemned you rejected you and put you aside from where they bag you up and buried you so that nobody knows who you are today you return.
Alleluia. This is called the Alb. I wear this to officiate during services. The body boy is also a priest and an archbishop. This is the signature. This is called a stool. This shows that I am ordained to officiate in the traditional church. This is called the coop. This is what I wear when I celebrate high services. Let's see how this is. Whether it will pass my head to that. Let's see. Like this. Oh yeah, that's good. My head is not all that big. Let's kiss the Holy Ghost pulpit. Brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers, I bring you good news of great joy today. You and I represent the tradition, the gospel of the Lord itself, the incarnated word itself, excuse me. <coughs> the story of the resurrection goes this way. I'm going to talk to you about it. from Matthew, from John, from Luke, from Mark. I'm going to pick and choose because it's not a straightforward story. But I'm going to talk to you about how things really happened. Because at the end, it's the same story, but seen from different perspective. And before we start this, let us light the Easter candle. So bring out your candle and light it and place it somewhere during this service. And also bring an offering that you're going to send to the ministry which stand on behalf of Jesus Christ during this service. In Matthew 27 and Matthew 28, we find tremendous stories. And in John's Gospel too, I'll borrow from them. Because we are the keepers of the tradition. The Gospel itself. So let me tell you this story. The Jewish leaders, thinking they were doing the right thing, they were protecting the God of Moses. They were protecting the commandments. So they went to Pilate, the coward. Because one thing you need to know about the passion narrative about the condemnation, the brutal 
mother. Crucifixion was a brutal mother of Jesus. Was this. Religion depend on politicians. Politicians depend on religion. They are two prostitutes that have been working together since religion began. Those in religion who want power and money depend on civil leaders, political leaders, kings and queens to ratify their good or evil intentions. Rulers and leaders also depend on whoever can rally their people to stay in power. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Is that is here. I can't wait. I've been waiting. So now that they have found a new friend, they have found a new friend in Pilate, suddenly, because he can do the dirty job for them. So they went back to him. They were not yet done with the death of Jesus. So they went back to go and finish the job. Because they were afraid that what he said about himself will come to pass. Remember that there have been eclipse of the sun, there have been earthquake. People have already resurrected. Wherever a good thing happened, many more good things will happen. One man's death, that was a good thing, is now affecting even the underworld, even the world of paradise, where people were waiting for him, the captain of humans, the maker of humans, to come and deliver them. Hallelujah. Welcome to Holy Ghost Easter Party. Welcome. Join me to celebrate this great feast. The portal of heaven is open today. The portal is open. And it will stay open throughout this week. Please pray and ask for whatever you need. Whether you fast or pray doesn't whether you fast does not matter. The portal is open. Go and get what you need. The Holy Ghost is the party. I started. Hallelujah. <laughs> so they went back to their newfound friend, the pilot. Sir, with all humility, now they are all humble. <laughs> People with evil intention and bad motive now are humble. They are now bowing before Pilate. Someone that they will never have bowed to. Because he has agreed out of fear. Because he's a coward. He has no backbone. He agreed to them. Ay, ay, ay. So they say, this man did say, this man did say, because that's how they view Jesus. He's just a man who for some reason acquired power. We don't know how. This is the son of Joseph. We don't know who this man really is. He's not really known. You know why? Because he comes from an insignificant little place. Excuse me, people. I hope I did. I put all this well. I hope so. Mm. Oh God, God, God it well. All right. 
Let me stare like that. When I will have somebody who will dress me up and make me look good, that would be nice. <laughs> Mary, did you hear that? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. They saw Jesus as the carpenter, the leader of illiterate people, of people who had no money, had no name, had nothing. Maybe secretly he had people because he had power. He healed some people. He raised people from the dead. He opened the eyes of the blind. He made the deaf to hear and the mute, the dumb to speak. He cast out devils. So that attracted people to him, but we don't know where he acquired his power. It must have been from Satan, because they knew that Satan can also give people power to do the same thing. They knew it. They were not ignorant people. They said, this man said, this leader of the fishermen, this popular religious rabbi said this, that on the third day, he might rise again. In fact, he said, on the third day, they said, he said he will rise again. And this guy possibly mean business. Because look at what is happening. When he died, look at war has started. People are coming back to life. There is a quake. We never had this happening in one day. Things that, th mysterious things are happening. And God has abandoned the temple. The temple caught them suddenly fell down. It's like there's a ghost in there. We can't even go in. Something, something bad is happening. I sent a shout out to my tellers in Bangalore, India. Thank you for clothing me as the Archbishop for this service. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So they said to Pilate, please sir, give us soldiers. You know, with the kind of power we see that is coming out of this man and his disciples, give us soldiers. Let them go and put a big stone at the mouth of the sepulchre, at the mouth of the tomb, at the mouth of where Jesus' body is laying, was laid. Let it be an act of you. He said, okay. Evil people have suddenly found great alliances and loyalty to each other because of the willingness to condemn an innocent man. And they didn't know that. They were actually doing that because behind the scene, the Father was at work. The Holy Ghost was at work. Jesus himself was at work. The angels were at work. Why? For us. It's always those who are willing to do sacrificial service who will enter into the book of life and the history of the righteous. It's about time. Let's go. Give me one minute. Mm -hmm. Looking for the other one. Hold on. 
one prong goes this way. Excuse me, where are the... I got one here. Here we go. Come out here. <laughs> where have you been hiding? Come out here. I have to look good for my congregation around the world. There we go. And I have to look good. Yeah. There we go. There we go. So, Pilate said, go. Go and do it. He said, he gave them soldiers and let the soldiers keep guard over the grave. The grave that hosted the body of Jesus. There's something you need to know about this story. People can make fun of you. But the fun that they are making of you will turn out to become reality. People can predict things about you. And they are right. Because sooner or later, what people sensed about you for good that has made them to become afraid will come to pass. Because why are people attacking you? Why are people against you? They are against you because they know something about you. They are afraid of you because they know something about you. They are envious of you and jealous of you because they know something against you. They know something about you. And that is why they have something against you. Sometime before you were born, they knew it. So here we go. The soldiers went to the tomb. And do you know what I saw there? What the Holy Ghost showed me? Inside the tomb, there were angels. And you know what? God also needed soldiers to keep guard over the body of Jesus. Outside. There are angels inside. That's what the Holy Ghost showed me. And now there are soldiers outside. And their job is to protect the king. <laughs> they didn't know that they were protecting the king. They thought they were defeating the king or stopping the king. That's why when something is happening and people are against you, everything do not work out for you. Take control. Be in control. Don't let your emotion, don't let your fearful emotion, doubtful emotion, problematic emotion, confused emotion to become your master. God is going to make your enemies to become your protectors. Yay! And you see, it meant that Jesus' body was left to the element. The Jews were hurrying. Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea were hurrying to go and observe the laws of God, the laws of the Sabbath, the laws of the Passover. That they hurriedly buried him, put him there in an open tomb. It wasn't closed. So behind the scene, the intelligence of God kicked in. And the Jewish people went to go and demand for soldiers and for stone to be put over 
the mouth of the tomb and for it to be sealed it was sealed so that the elements of nature do not go in while animals do not go in do you understand that what people meant for evil god would turn it around for good Jesus' body had no earthly protection after it was put in there. It was left for the wild animals. It was already there. On Good Friday. And God decided to do something. So they thought, I don't know, well, what they were doing was the intelligence, but they didn't know that there was a superior intelligence operating over their own. Let me tell you something. The intelligence of God will override the intelligence of humans. And God many a times will walk over the intelligence of humans and they will not know that they are doing you a favor. They will think that they are doing you something wrong. And at the end of the day, you will see how by what they are doing will turn out to make you rich, will turn out to make you famous, will turn out for your protection. But you didn't know it as of that time. So the soldiers sat, ate, drank, gossip. Already, when they saw the eclipse on Good Friday, the earthquakes, all of that, the same soldiers they said, truly, this was the Son of God. And most of those religious leaders, they've echoed it already. But now they're afraid that something is going to happen. They sense it. People know about you that something good is going to happen to you. That your life will not end the way it is now. They knew that the way you were born is not the way you are going to die. They know that where you are located now is not where you are going to become famous and rich. They know that you are going somewhere. They know that your marriage failure is not a failure. They knew that you have escaped from traps. They know it. So the soldiers were there. They were gambling, they were cha-cha people. They were debating, putting money. Because you see what they were doing on Good Friday, she'll tell you what they should be, what they were doing on the Holy Saturday. Say they were gambling, they threw dice to know who get who get this of Jesus, who didn't get that. Yep. Can you imagine that? They were gambling over a dead man's cloth and stuff. That's what people do. They didn't want you. They want you dead. But then they want what you got. Anybody who wants you dead so that they can get what you got, they will wait for a very long time. Hallelujah. 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 And let me tell you something. They will die before you. And you are going to live on earth and proclaim the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. While those who hated you, who want to take over the inheritance you work hard for, they will all perish. So they sat there drinking, gossiping, eating and gambling, smoking and talking trivia and trash. Early Sunday morning, the beginning of the week in the Jewish calendar, an angel of the Lord descended from heaven. This is why I'm so much into the narratives of angels. Because I know them. Because I've seen them. Because I know the power of the Most High, the possessor of the heavens and the earth. That they carry i know it i swear to god i know it i swear to god i know the power of angels and the power of the holy ghost i know the power of jesus it is real it is powerful it is massive it is explosive one angel can defeat a nation of a billion people one angel because these are super people uncommon power no 
military can equal the angels of the Lord. Just one will do the job. An angel of the Lord descended. And what happened? The stone, the heavy stones that took so many soldiers, about 30 or 40 soldiers, to carry it and roll it and seal it. The cement or the mortar, M O R T A, broke. The stone rolled away by itself. Because when the angels of the Lord appear in difficult times and in difficult places, the difficulties run away. The problems roll away. The sickness vanish. The poverty cry and leaves. Satan flees. Demons beg for mercy and they flee. Human power is useless when it comes to the powers, the manifestation of God's powers in his angels. Yay! 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 Ha ha! Shepa la bakada la 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 Doors will open that will close against you. Places where they refuse to give you employment, they will call you back. And that is what is going to happen to each of you today. You've been crying to God. I want to be a millionaire, multi-millionaire, billionaire. It's happening today. Because the angel of the Lord has descended. And every stone that will roll against you from functioning, thinking that they are blocking you, thinking that they have sent you a blow, and knock you out, and you will never rise up again. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Hallelujah. It's over. I need just one angel, and my problems is over. And I'm sending you an angel, and your problem is over. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter the soldiers. It doesn't matter how many demons. It doesn't matter how many presents of fallen wickedness. It doesn't matter who are the politicians. It doesn't matter who are the religious leaders. An angel of the Lord, full of power of God, when he descends, all powers bow down. And the soldiers couldn't even run. They couldn't even run when they saw the angel. Because his countenance and the brilliancy and the shining of God appeared. The brightness of God came upon the place. And the soldiers all lay there like useless. Every power and every human being that rose up against you will lay there useless. At their place of decisions and their place of actions against you they will lay the useless because they are all useless anyone who doesn't want your progress they are 100 percent useless when the power of god shows up the forces of humans and the powers of devils all get out. When the power of God shows up, the power of Lucifer shut up. They lay there like drunken fools. They can't move. They can't run. Because the power of God has showed up. Showed up. And at that point, the Holy One left paradise. He has finished his work of preaching to Adam and Eve all the way to the thief on the cross. Preaching to Moses. Preaching to Elijah. Eli eh, pre preaching to Elisha. Preaching to Daniel. Nehemiah. Isaiah. Ezekiel. Preaching to Esther. Ruth and Naomi. Abigail and Bathsheba. King David and King Solomon. Preaching to all these people who practice the religion 
of good sense, the religion of good conscience, the religion of good motive and right intentions. He preached to them and he took them as their captain, went ahead of them. Here is heaven. You've been waiting for this moment. Get in. I got you in with my blood. I am going back to go and get the rest of humanity who wants me. I'm going to get them in. Let me go. Until he stood there, until the last person got in. You have no, you don't know the kind of savior you have. How good Jesus is, you don't know. You need to start asking him to show you his goodness, to show you his sweetness, to show you how much he favors you, to show you how much he loves you. You need to see it. You need to experience it. Then nobody will be talking and preaching to you because you've seen it. You don't know about God's riches. I'm talking of money, gold, silver, bronze, sapphire, diamond, houses. All of it is in this physical planet. You are getting it. And Jesus left paradise and left the gate of heaven and said, Daddy, I'll be back. Daddy, I'll be back. I'll be back. Let me go back and finish my task. He entered back into his body as a full human being, full spirit, fully God, fully human. And the angels of life were there to help him. Read all the stories of the resurrection. You will see angels are featuring everywhere. Angels are seeing the women. Angels are seeing the men. This is incredible. I want angels to come to you and to come to me. I do not want empty Christianity. Empty life. We don't need it. And Jesus entered back into his body. How? Don't ask me. When God starts to give you the experience of you entering your body and leaving your body, not for death, but to do great tasks, you will know. You will know what kind of good God. You will know that you are miracle. You are a gift. You don't need no magic. You don't need no voodoo. You are higher than those things. Those things don't need you. You are bigger than them. Why? Because you are being carried by the one who rose from the dead. Woo! He left. The soldiers were still there. He left. He came out and was gone. Who did you think untied Jesus? I believe the angels. Or I believe the thing untied itself and just lay there. You are dealing with someone who is fully human and fully God. And that is how God wants you to operate on the earth. You are going to operate as fully spirit. A life spirit. L-I-F-E. You are a life giving spirit. That's why you possess a life-giving mindset. And you are going to function as also fully human. And an accelerated and advanced intelligent mind. Whoa! Because you possess the mindset of Jesus, of Nazareth. Son of Joseph. Son of God. Son of David. Our very brother. Our own. Our king, he got us. We got him. This is the Holy Ghost Easter party. Thank you, Jesus. She can lebelela sakuleba kantibasi. This Easter, some people are going to receive Mercedes Benz. Others are going to receive uncommon cars that they have been asking or they didn't even ask. Others are going to begin to buy houses. From this minute, you are going to see it. 
You can doubt all you doubt. I kill your doubt. You can fear all you fear. I kill your fear. For me, I'm getting things today. Why? Because I got the one who resurrected. Every good thing is risen for me. Every good thing has been called to come to me and to you. I don't care how much you doubt. I don't care how much unworthy you think you are. Because he has made you worthy by his resurrection. Hallelujah. <laughs> now the connections begin. Now the connections begin. The angel did not just leave the tomb, they stayed there. Early on Sunday morning today, the women, God's women, always the first to move ahead in the things of God without no fear. They didn't fear that the soldiers might handcuff them and throw them in jail. They didn't fear that the soldiers might kill them or rape them. They decided to go and do the right thing. When you decide to go and do the right thing, surprises of miracles, uncommon riches, uncommon good news is waiting for you when you decide to do the right thing. Hallelujah. Ha. Ha. Mary Magdalene and the other Marys and the other women, they decided to go. To go and, and pay respect and honor. To Jesus to go and pay respect and honor to his body even in death they want to bless him all of you around the world who have appreciated or who appreciate what I'm doing if you decide to bless me the Almighty God will release miracle for you I swear to God no partner of mine no friend of our mission will not be blessed in millions and in billions if you want it. Honor will give you everything. They went to show honor to Jesus. And in return, they didn't know honor was waiting for them. If you decide to show me honor, honor will be waiting for you. Whoa! If you decide to show Jesus honor in my life, mission and business, honor will be waiting for you. Honor that will never cease. Blessing that will never cease. Money that will never cease. Hallelujah. Health that will never cease. Don't think about it. It is on. <sighs> when they reached, they discovered that the stones had already been rolled away. They were wondering, who's going to roll these stones away for us? When they read, they discover it was already done. The things you've been crying for. The things you are wondering, who's going to do this for me? I don't have nobody to do this for me. I don't know. And then you go and start begging people to come with you to go and help you do it. Let me tell you what God said. When there is nobody, go ahead. There was nobody to deliver Israel from Goliath. And let me tell you that every Goliath will collapse and fall because that's what happened to Goliath. All the Goliaths. They always think they are better. They always think they know more than everybody else. They always think that they are the best. They always think they have all the power. They always think that they have all the pastors and, and, and politicians on their side. And all the business gurus on their side. And yet, Goliath will fall and will not stand. David went alone. He had no soldier clothes on. He had no gun. He had no bow or arrow. He took what he was, what he had mastered and dealt a blow on a giant. I hope you know that you are a giant destroyer. That's your new degree, GD, Giant Destroyer, Problem Destroyer, Trouble Destroyer, Sickness Destroyer, Poverty Destroyer. That's you. You have destroyed homelessness. 
You've destroyed loans and debt. You've destroyed depression, mental problem. Today, the portal is opened and those things have been destroyed. Sometimes you are going alone. So the women went alone. They didn't need the men. They didn't go with the men. They left the men alone. Let them keep hiding in the upper room. They found a place to go and hide. Let them keep hiding there. The women went to go and show Jesus honor. You better begin to become a practitioner of showing honor to me and to Jesus and to yourself too. Why did they go to show Jesus honor? They appreciated him for who he is. They didn't just follow him because of miracle. These women followed Jesus because they love him as a person. Long before they love him as God. Long before they love him as Messiah. They love him also as a human being. Worthy to be blessed. Worthy to be appreciated. Worthy to be cared for. Who are willing to bear the burden of ministry with me? Who are willing to bear the burden of business with me? Who are willing to bear the burden of broadcast with me? Who are willing to bear the burden of investment? The burden of writing books? Who are willing to bear the burden of greatness and fame with me? Let them come to me! Whoa! These are people who did not think, oh, this man we thought was a great man. Look at him, he's a failure. Look at how they handcuffed him, destroyed him. He had, he now have hemorrhaging in his head. They broke his body, shattered him, killed him. Let's go away, oh Jerry. This is not the right person. Let's go and look for another Messiah. The women said no. Mary Magdalene became the champion of world history. She became the champion of of Christianity, the champion of Judaism, because one woman dared to believe that this man is a real man. This man is the son of God. This man is the shepherd of the church. This man is worthy to be loved. This man is the real lover. That's who I am. And she began, she took leadership. So let me announce to all of you, the leader of Christianity after Jesus was Mary Magdalene and the women. And the men suddenly have found their freedom with the women. The women have saved the men. Finally, the men were complaining that women led them astray by allowing Lucifer to lead the women astray in the story of the Garden of Eden. Now the women have redeemed themselves by becoming the savior of humans. They save men two ways. They give back to humans and now they are the leaders of Christianity. Number three, they are the announcers of the good news and they are the ones that found it. Yay! I love women because they are great leaders. And a lot of men do not want to see it. When you meet the right woman, you've met your fortune. You've met your favor. You've met your luck. You've met your money. You've met everything. Hallelujah. When they got near to the tomb, there was an angel. The angels of God were there. Some story there was one angel. Not that story is two angels. I don't care whether there were a thousand angels. None of my business. <laughs> there were angels. Always angels. Oh God. Thank you for angels. Let angels follow my history Lord. Let angels follow my business. Let angels follow my partners. Let angels follow our investment, our business. Let angels follow our families. Let angels follow our life. Everything we do, our money, we want angels in everything. Give us angels, oh God. We need them desperately. Without them, we can do nothing. Humans can fail us. Angels of God cannot fail us. And here, it was an angel that announced 
the conception of Jesus, my archangel Gabriel, and now angels are now telling the women he is risen. Woo! He is risen from the dead. Christ is risen. I know who you are looking for. All that in the world, let the Holy Ghost Easter party begin. All that in the house, all that in the world, the Savior returns back as the champion of humanity. He's here. The captain is here. The general is here. Our life is back. We don't live in fear anymore. We are now champions. Success. We are now rich. This is not mere talk. This is the action that has been released today for us. Hallelujah. Woo. 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 Sheka la ba la ba la ba konte le 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 se kayanda. Mo konte ka se yando. We can no longer use religion to fool anybody. We can no longer use politics to fool anybody. Why? The man that rose from the from the dead, he is fully God, has made, has given us accelerated intelligence. The angel said to the women, go and tell his disciples. Go and tell the men. That's the meaning of it. Go and tell the men. Go and tell them. Those cows, go and tell them. That he's risen as he said. His reason is going before them. Going before you all to Galilee. And the women, that was all. They were, oh, their heart was going. Like the Vietnamese girl was telling me. Had me boom 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 boom. Their heart was going boom 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 boom. Yes, angels we see. Oh my God, oh my God, angels we see had us boom 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 boom. Oh my God, we don't know. This is good. This is very good. I'm speaking like Vietnamese speak. The Vietnamese English, and the women ran out, and as they were running to go and knock on the door, the upper room, Jesus met them. Another one, another one, another big one. He said, Hell, all of you. He greeted them. Don't just go and talk about it. That you heard about my resurrection. That you saw my angels. That you saw the cloth that was used to wrap around my body. You saw the remaining bits and pieces of the may and aloe that was used to, 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 to put on my body. I don't want you just to go and tell them a mere story that they, an angel told you. And they will say, really? You've seen me. Go and tell them that not just an angel told you, that I told you. I am he. And they bow and held his feet and worship him. Oh, there's nothing as good as seeing him yourself. The Christianity of Edekai Mary ministry our worshiping community is an experience that will dazzle you. It's an experience of the Messiah. It's an experience of the Holy Ghost, of God the Father, and extraordinary experience of Jesus and angels. This is where, this is the real thing. Let me tell you something today. You will begin from this day to encounter the Jesus you've been running after, you will. You will. You will. You begin to see him. Hallelujah. Let's pour in the wine to celebrate the feast of the Passover. And now it is the part, is the, the it is the feast. Of the come over. <laughs> the feast of drunken, of supernatural drunken body, Holy Ghost body goers. Yes, it is the feast of Passover, the feast of come over. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Eternal Father, 
let your spirit come upon this gift of bread and wine. It is for us a celebration in the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our master, our own, our redeemer, God, our brother. In the night in which he was given up, he took bread and he broke it. I start eating already. <laughs> Jesus is sweet. You really know that I know it. He is sweet. He's good. And he gave it to his disciples and said, Take ye. Eat ye. This is my body, which is broken for you. I broke myself for you. I give myself for you. Eat it in remembrance of me. Give yourself to God. Offer yourself to God so that God can do great things with you. After supper, he took the cup and he gave thanks. Those who give thanks receive miracles. He offered himself. Let me tell you what Jesus was doing that night. He was offering himself to God the Father. He was offering himself on our behalf. I set a new covenant before you. The old ways of doing things is gone. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Stand with me. Roll with me. Come over to me. And let's celebrate the heavenly and the universal Easter resurrection party. I am the party you've been looking for in the club. Come and gyrate. Come and skunk in my presence. I got it. I got you. This is deliverance. I am your deliverer. I am your deliverer. What you are celebrating is me. You are using symbols to call me to come. So Jesus, come Lord Jesus. Come among us. Change things. I have asked you Lord Jesus, give us burden bearers for our mission. The mission you've given to me, give me burden bearers. Let them come from the four corners of the earth in their billions. And Father, I offer myself to you. I offer my family. I offer the resurrection of Jesus to you, Father. I offer his death to you, Father. I offer his blood to you, Father. I offer his pain, his suffering, the destruction of his body I offer to you, Father. Lord, see me in him and see him in me. See him in my partners and see my partners in him. And so, Father, give my partners everything they've been crying out to you. Give it to them. So that they will know of the power of his resurrection. Paul said that I might know him and the power of his resurrection. So that I will be participating or I will participate in his death. In his suffering. So Lord we enter into it fully. We yield ourselves to you. Lord pour out miracles today. Make us change makers. History changers. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. And in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Fill us with drunkenness of the heavenly type. The happiness of heaven should possess us called joy. And let it never leave us. Give us the gift of detail. The gift of focus. The gift of doing things very well. Give us the gift of success. Give us the gift of dominion 
fruitfulness, multiplication of money and material resources and people. Give us people so that, Lord, we do not labor alone. Send people, send laborers to labor with us. Oh, God, send laborers to labor with my partners. Lord, I pray that you make my partners rich. Make them rich. Make them rich. Make them rich. Both now and forevermore. So that they do not say that they followed you in vain. People of God, listen to this. The reason for Jesus coming, the reason for his death and resurrection today, is so that legal entanglement might be removed. Yes, you heard it. So every legal entanglement in your life, I command them broken. If you have been a child of contention, if you have been a child of drag, they've been dragging you. Things have been dragging you up and down. Power that you don't know are dragging you up and down. Today, it has come to an end. Just say amen. Just say hallelujah. Glory it has come to an end. Father, nobody should drag me. Nobody should drag my partners. Nobody should drag people who want to follow the truth. Lord, change the history of America. Change the history of Norway, Canada, England, Italy, Holland, Denmark, Sweden, Switzerland, France. Change history of Mexico, Panama, Puerto Rico, El Salvador, of Russia, North Korea, South Korea, Singapore, Taiwan, Thailand, Brunei, Malaysia, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, all the way to Togo, Cote d'Ivoire, Guinea. Change the history of Congo, Rwanda. Change the history of the Samoans, Samoan Island. Change the history of the Fijis. Change the history of the nations of the world of China, Vietnam, Cambodia. Change the history of India, oh God. Change the history of Japan. Lord, come into human history again and start afresh with us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Lord, make us the voice of our generation. For we are people of truth. For we have good motives and good intention. Father, let people who love us, us not love no more. Let them see our resurrection from this day. Those who say that we will not amount to anything. Father, let them see us amount to greatness and to become leaders of the world. Use us, O oh God, to raise up new leaders, to rule and to reign. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, block evil people from ruling and reigning over us in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forevermore. Amen, amen, and amen. You take the bread and you eat it. I took a very big one. I deserve it. You take the wine and you drink it. Next Sunday is the celebration of spring, the awakening of life. I like to celebrate Easter first before we go to the festival of spring. So next Sunday is the festival of spring. Come with a branch. Like when Noah left the ark, he started spring camp. The water went down. The boat touched down, yeah, and now they can see the ground. That's how it is. The water has gone away. 
The hurricane is gone. The problems are gone. Rise up. And let's go and conquer. So Sunday, festival of spring. Bring a new twig. Bring a branch. Something with fresh leaves of spring. Bring it to the service. And bring a candle too to light. At the 12 noon service. Please bring. Throughout this week, there will be no service. From Monday to Saturday, there will be no service. I will be sending you daily services. Please. There is a new channel that will be born. From tonight. It is called Born to Prosper. That is where we showcase our success, prosperity, money, all that kind of thing. That's where we talk about those worldly things. And then today is your day, which is our YouTube, another YouTube channel. So we are going to have three YouTube channels. One is Popular World Shop with Idikai Mary. Second one is Born to Prosper, where we talk about money, leadership, all those kind of things, business, investment, Born to Prosper. Then the third one is today is your day. So whenever you see anything we do about church and ministry and God and the Holy Ghost and angels, all these kind of things, they all come under today is your day. Everything we do under investment, success, business, money, all of that, born to prosper. Anything we are doing about shopping, go and buy this from this, from there, go and buy plane there, go and do this there, or our own product that we showcase will come under popular world shop with the Kai Mary. Please help me. I need people to be a burden with me. I need money. I need a lot of money. Yes, so, so that I can do these three things very well. I'm not able to do it all by myself. And I do not want to do these things in old age. So come and join me so that you can enjoy with me. I'm not taking the money and run to Africa. African people have lost me already. American people told me when I was coming in here, don't go back. That's what they whispered. They whispered into my ear at the embassy of the United States in the country where I was born. They told me, don't go back to your country. That's how they were able to give me a visa. They told me if I agree with them that I will not come back, that I should stay and help the American people. I say, agree. I grew. And they told me, come tomorrow and get your visa. And I went and got it. I am here to do the will of God. Help me. Let's do it. Let's build churches. Let's buy banks. Let's buy Dollar Tree. Let's buy Burger King. Let's buy businesses. Let's let ordain pastors. Let's establish churches. Let's do this thing. It, it is your own. So that when you are in need, we, I have enough money, enough nyafu nyafu money to give to you. The Almighty God bless you. The Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. And Amen. Don't go. The Holy Ghost party, Holy Ghost Easter party is still continuing. Join me to dance. Hallelujah. Happiness has come upon you. You are not going to escape it. It's about time. It's about time. It is about time that happiness remain with you so that you don't have any more problems. The days of your problems are over because the resurrection has happened. Amen. I love it. This is why many a times, some days I wear all these things, some other days I'm just comfortable with casual because I feel, I feel good. So there's place for everything. <laughs> Support me and make me beautiful. Make me beautiful. Lizzie, make me beautiful, honey. Honey, make me beautiful, Barbara. Make me beautiful. 
Neo na Nancy, make me beautiful Lorraine. Beatrice, Oza. Yes, so the service is over. And we are going to dance again and end it. Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't know why I'm sniffling. Yeah. Did I get the flu today? I don't know. Yes, so I don't know. Okay, let's go. All right, one, two. Oh, yeah, here we go. Holy Ghost is that man is on. Woo! If I do not shake my bumper for Jesus, who will I shake it for? He gave it to me to shake it. Shake it. Shake it. And make every power of darkness. Because they can they are, in fact they don't even have bully to shake. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Vivian, I know you are loving this and rustling. Ali of the Bahamas, I know you are loving this. Woo! Diana, look, I know you are loving this. Nancy, do you like this? Woo! <laughs> Kishon, do you like this? Amanda, do you like this? Woo! Ladri and Geneva, do you guys like this? Mary, where is my Mary? Where is my Emily? Emily, you should be here rolling with me. Lele, where are you? You are the party girl. Vicky, you are the club girl, the Holy Ghost club girl. Come and drink and roll with me. Woo! Barbara, where are you? Where are you? Samantha and Kyle, Isaac, Shante, Happy Easter, Uzo. Woo! They say that pastors don't dance. Shame on them. Shame on their poly roly booty. Shame on them. If angels dance, why will you not dance? Segi, where are you? Mateus, where is Trivio? Janet, where are you? Whoa, so loud, buddy girl. Happy Easter, Holy Ghost Easter party. Woo!
God is very good.